Straight ahead is the building that goes by the name of Old Main. Nice castle-like building, the first ever Jimmy John's opened up shop at the corner of 4th and Lincoln here in Charleston. Oh wait, that's where we are, the corner of 4th and Lincoln. Right here on the right is the very first ever Jimmy John's. Charleston, Illinois is about a two hour drive from both Indianapolis and St. Louis. Charleston, Illinois is known for a few things. It's known for being the home to Eastern Illinois University. It's not a huge school, but it's a public university nonetheless. It's also known for being home to the parents of Abraham Lincoln, after they moved over from Indiana, that is. Some Indiana and Kentucky folks might have a hard time hearing that, as all three states love to fight over who gets to claim Lincoln. It's like watching kids fight over who gets to choose what to watch on TV. Anyway, enough of that nonsense and drama. We ain't got no time for that. It's time to check out the city of Charleston, Illinois. Well, let's get to it, shall we? I do start the video on the far west side of Charleston before heading east and checking out the city. If you're unfamiliar with my videos, I do speed up my videos in order to show more in a less amount of time. You can always keep track of the real time that it takes me to drive in the lower left corner of the screen. If I go too fast for you or if you think that I'm going too slow, you can always adjust the playback speed by selecting the gear icon if you're watching on PC or by selecting the three dotted menu if you're watching on a mobile device. Isn't YouTube great? Also really quick, as if you enjoy this video, make sure to drop a like, comment, and subscribe as doing all of those things helps these videos out with the YouTube algorithm. Also make sure to hit that notification bell so that you can be notified every time that I upload a new video of an area near you. If you enjoy this video, you might enjoy checking out some of the featured playlists on my channel. Other videos like Charleston can be found on my USA Small Cities playlist, my College Towns playlist, or on my Illinois playlist. Last but not least, if you can't get enough of me on here, you can always go follow me on my social media accounts and those links are below. Charleston was incorporated as a city in 1865. The name originates from the town's first postmaster, Charles Morton. The most notable history of Charleston, however, is that back in 1831, Abraham Lincoln helped move his parents to a cottage eight miles or so south of town. Lincoln never lived here himself as he moved from Indiana to New Salem, which is over by the state capital of Springfield. Back when Lincoln was running to represent Illinois in the U.S. Senate, there was a series of well-known debates called the Lincoln-Douglas Debates. Those debates are famous for being one of the first steps to putting an end towards slavery. In case you didn't know, that's why Abraham Lincoln is considered to be one of the best presidents that the U.S. has seen, as he was the leader of putting an end to slavery in this country. Nonetheless, Lincoln and Stephen Douglas traveled around Illinois and had debates in several cities within the state, and one of those debates took place right here in Charleston on September 18, 1858. The debate took place on what is now the Coles County Fairgrounds, in which Charleston is the county seat of said county. Today, there's a museum dedicated to the historical debates on the fairgrounds. Well, now it's time to stop living in the past, and it's time to speak about how things are in modern times. Today, Charleston is home to 20,000 residents, and within the last 10 years, Charleston has seen its first population decline since the U.S. Census began keeping track of the population, and it's lost people at the rate of 8%, or 1,000 people. 8% is a big number of people to lose. The median household income is $36,000 per year, and 32% of the population lives in poverty. Income stats, however, are often a misleading representation of the economy in college towns due to the abundance of college students, so you can only take that for so much. I mean, Eastern Illinois University enrolls about 8,200 undergrads. 35% of adults 25 and older in Charleston hold a bachelor's degree or higher, which is equivalent to the national average. The median value of owner-occupied housing units is $100,000, which is about half that of the national median value. This is Charleston High School, if you couldn't tell. The athletic teams go by the Trojans. Niche.com ranks Charleston Public Schools as a C+, which means that it ranks right around average. They could be doing better, but 
It could be doing worse, I suppose. There aren't too many notable people who are alumni of Charleston High School. The most notable has to be Stan Royer, who was a pitcher in the major leagues from 1991 to 1994. There was also a punter in the NFL that played for 16 seasons from 1980 to 1996. His name was Jeff Gossett. Other than that, there's several other athletes that made professional leagues that were born before 1950. So even though the public schools in Charleston aren't rated too high, the crime rates here are actually incredibly low, making it one of the safer principal cities in Illinois. When I say principal cities, that means a city that is not a suburb of another nearby larger city, which is often where you'll find the safest cities in every state. Charleston ain't no soccer mom suburb, but it's a safe place to settle down in. The only downside I would say is that it is in the state of Illinois, which has the second highest property taxes in the country only to New Jersey. That's the main reason why people believe that Illinois has lost 200,000 people in the last 10 years, which is a higher number than any other state. Some of you who have watched my other Illinois videos have told me how tired you are of hearing that, but it's the truth. There's no political bias to those facts, as I might be the least political person that you will ever come across in this country. If I'm wrong, then tell me another reason why Illinois has lost 200,000 people in the last 10 years. If you heard me earlier, Charleston today has suffered its first ever population loss in between census counts, as it's estimated to have lost 8% of its population. So the thing that would make me worry about buying a home here and settling down here is the future, as who knows if things in Illinois are going to continue to go down the path that it has. Jobs in Illinois continue to disappear, as we're seeing manufacturing jobs getting brought back in other nearby Midwestern states. States like Indiana, Ohio, Iowa, Wisconsin, Michigan, Minnesota, and Missouri have not suffered the population losses as Illinois has. I'm just trying to be honest and tell the truth to those who might not know. And if that makes you mad, well, it makes you mad. Here is downtown Charleston, and you can see up ahead that the Coles County Courthouse is in the center of the town square. As a whole, Coles County is home to 50,000 people, which is down 5% from the 2010 census, or about 3,000 people. Along with Charleston, within Coles County is another city of nearly the same size called Mattoon. Stay tuned for that video, as that will be my next one. According to a website called ColesTogether.com, the top industries and companies in the county are LSC Communications, which employs 750, Rural King, which employs 600, and has its headquarters in nearby Mattoon. Finishing out the top five is Just Right Manufacturing, Mars Pet Care, and Pinnacle Foods. I think it goes without saying, though, that the true top employer in the county is Eastern Illinois University.
Straight ahead is the building that goes by the name of Old Main. Nice castle-like building. Due to the construction on the main thoroughfare in Charleston, which is called Lincoln Avenue, it stopped me from going the route that I had wanted to go while filming this video. Ahead I attached a few screenshots from Google Street View that show other areas of campus. I know it's not much, and it's not the same as actually having the footage of me driving through, but that's the best that I could do. Eastern Illinois athletic teams go by the Panthers. The teams compete in the Ohio Valley Conference, which is within Division I of the NCAA. The school actually has quite a few notable names that today's NFL fans would know. Tony Romo, the former Dallas Cowboys quarterback turned CBS broadcaster, played football here, and so did the often injured but current San Francisco 49ers quarterback Jimmy Garoppolo. Sean Payton, the head coach of the New Orleans Saints, went here. Brad Childress, the head coach for the Minnesota Vikings from 2006 to 2010, went here. Mike Shanahan is an alumni of Eastern Illinois. He's a former NFL head coach and the father of the current San Francisco 49ers head coach, Kyle Shanahan. And last but not least, the current general manager of the Chicago Bears, Ryan Pace went here. Also of note, the man who started the restaurant chain of Jimmy John's is from here. His name is Jimmy John Leotode. Also of note is that the first ever Jimmy John's opened up shop at the corner of 4th and Lincoln here in Charleston. Oh wait, that's where we are, the corner of 4th and Lincoln. Right here on the right is the very first ever Jimmy John's. Here's my laughable effort of attaching Google Street View screenshots of other areas of the Eastern Illinois University campus. In the first one, you can see the basketball gym behind some trees and a residential hall on the right. In the second, you can see O'Brien Field, which is where the football team plays. Well, that's about it for this video. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to drop a like, comment, and subscribe, as doing all of those things helps these videos out with the YouTube algorithm. Also, make sure to hit that notification bell so that you can be notified every time that I upload a new video of an area near you. If you enjoyed this video, you might enjoy checking out some of the featured playlists on my channel. Other videos like Charleston can be found on my USA Small Cities playlist, my College Towns playlist, or on my Illinois playlist. Also, if you can't get enough of me on here, you can always go follow me me on my other social media accounts, those links are below. We'll see you next time. Peace!